The Fred Jackson Show on WBBZ TV. Sponsored by Buffalo Wine and Brew, Transit Road to Pew, Brew Beer, Make Wine. The Buffalo Roadhouse Grill, Niagara Falls Boulevard near the 290, where the Buffalonians roam. Duville College, educating for life. On the Rocks Liquor, Discount Liquors, Bailey Avenue, Buffalo. And Reimer Heating and Air Conditioning, with the Wizard of Comfort and your hometown comfort professionals. Now, from the WBBZ TV studio at the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time for the Fred Jackson Show with running back Fred Jackson and co host Bob Koshinsky. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final edition of this season's Fred Jackson Show, and of course, the star of our show, Mr. Fred Jackson. And tonight on the show, a very special guest from the Buffalo News, sports writer extraordinaire, Mr. Vic Carucci is with us tonight. And as always, from 97 Rock, DJ Dave Jixter, let's hear it for Dave. And the master of the Twitterverse, Mr. Brad Gelber is with us tonight. Let's hear it for Brad. So, Mr. Jackson, what's new? <laughs> a lot. What a difference a week makes. On this very show last week, you were asked about Doug Marone. Everybody knew he had the option to leave. You, you felt fairly confident he was staying. Mm. You endorsed him. New Year's Eve, you get a text. The whole team gets a text. He's out of here. Your reaction when you read the text? Uh, I mean, obviously, we were shocked. You know, it wasn't something that we were expecting. Um, you know, at this time of year, you got to always expect the unexpected, though. And, um, you know, in this business, you got to be able to roll with the punches. And, um, you know, that was just a punch that we were dealt with. So it's, it's on us just to move on and uh, see what happens. Uh, from some of the players, there seemed to be some bitterness, uh, maybe coming from the fact that Coach Marone preached family, preached pride in the Bills, and he had an opportunity to leave and he left. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously when somebody, you know, chooses to walk away from something, that's, I mean, that's going to burn some bridges, you know, and uh, that's exactly what he did. You know, he made the choice to, to opt out, to move on, and uh, after everything that he talked about us going through, you know, being a family, I could see, you know, that, that burning a lot of people, you know, and, uh, you know, that, that's just how it is now, you know, and, you know, we got to move on just like he did. With him not being here, you know, we can't focus on him. We got to focus on the next coach that comes in here that wants to be here and uh, do our job in uh, supporting him. The new coach would be what, your fourth coach? Fifth, technically, Fifth? yeah. So, um, you know, with the interim that we had in uh, Perry Fuel. Well, that's yeah. true, mm -hmm. yeah. So. And so for a guy, you've been in the league for nine years. Mm. The fact that you now have to start a new system New coaches. I know you love mm. Coach Wheatley. Mm. Um, just part of the profession? It is. You know, it, I mean, it definitely gets old. You know, you, you like, you know, uh, being around some familiar faces, you know, having a chance to play your career with a bunch of different people. Um, you know, but, it, it, I mean, it, it, it gets old. You know, uh, it's one of those things that you, you want guys to be around for more than two years. So, um, but as part of our job where, you know, nothing's ever, you know, going to remain the same. You know, there's constant... Uh, ebb and flows and things, and this is another one that we have to deal with. Now, what is the status right now? I heard you do a radio interview earlier today. You talked about your off-season training. Are the coaches still in the building, or where do, what is their status? As far as I know, they're still there. Um, you know, we, we don't do a lot of talking to them right now with what's going on. So <clears throat> I, I have our, our quarterback coach, Todd, is uh, down the street from me. So I've seen him. You know, he's still around, so that lets me know that they're still up there. They're probably not doing too much work. You know, they're there in, you know, in, in waiting in limbo like we are, trying to see what's going to happen. You know, obviously it affects them. You know, they have to see what they're going to be doing for a job. Whatever coaching changes may, be, may take place, they have to see, you know, where they fit in that, if they fit in that, and where they have to, uh, you know, get ready to move to if they have to. There's over 10 coaches mentioned as possibilities, and they're being interviewed. I'm not going to ask you to name a specific coach, but... Looking at that list, do you have a preference? I mean, obviously you want somebody to come in and, uh, you know, help us win. You know, that's all, all I want is somebody that's going to come in and, you know, get us over the top to win some games. And, 
Um, you know, obviously, you like I said, you want some familiarity. You know, Coach Schwartz, being, Coach Schwartz being here last year, you know, I think would be a great fit for a lot of people. You know, he did a tremendous job with our defense, uh, and I think he could do a great job for us as a head coach. Um, but, you know, that, that is a decision that we'll leave up to Pag the Pagulas. They'll make the best choice that they feel is going to help, you know, us get this thing turned around. And uh, we have all the faith in the world in them, you know. And, uh, you know, I've talked to, you know, eight or ten players in the past two days that, you know, we just have all the faith in the world in them and they're going to do whatever it takes to get this thing over the hump. This team, as opposed to when Coach Marone came in, I believe you have more talent, you've got more of an established team, and a team that was on the rise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think that's going to be, you know, something that's uh, a, a coach can be attracted to. You know, it's seeing us going in the right direction, that, that allows us to get a good coach to come in and, um, you know, that wants to take advantage of, you know, what, what we're trying to get built. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, the Pagulas are going to do a tremendous job finding one. Okay, when we come back, we'll have Vic Carucci. He's going to talk about what happened with the Bill Polian situation. I'm sure he's got an opinion on the coaches. Coming up next on the Fred Jackson Show right after this.